welcome back to you again. And now with one of the most famous founders of the United States of America. Prepare your cup of coffee, and listen carefully to enrich your historical information. Let us begin now. James Madison Jr. The Fourth President of America Born in, March 16, 1751 to June 28, 1836, he was the fourth President of the United States from 1809 to 1817. He is known as the Father of the Constitution. He played an important role in drafting the United States Constitution in 1787 with Alexander Hamilton and John Jay, and was among the leading leaders in the Federalist newspapers in 1788. He created the Democratic Republican Party in the mid-1790s in close collaboration with Thomas Jefferson and founded Grassroots Movement, Grassroots, the same political activity that won the elections of 1800, which is referred to as the Revolution of 1800. He doubled the area of the country when he made the Louisiana Purchase deal from France while serving as Secretary of State. When he became president, he declared war on Britain, which was known in Britain as the War of 1812 or the American War, which ended in 1815, after which a nationalist spirit prevailed in the country. His Early Political Life after his return to Montpelier, before he had yet decided in what field he would work, Madison worked as a tutor for his younger siblings, and when the relationship between the American colonies and Britain deteriorated in the early 1870s due to the issue of taxes imposed by Britain until it reached its peak in the American Revolutionary War that began in, in 1775. Madison believed that the British Parliament had overstepped its bounds by imposing taxes on the American colonies and sympathized with those who resisted British rule, favoring the cancellation of the project to establish an Anglican church in Virginia. Madison believed that strongly established religion was not only harmful in terms of religious freedom, but that it encouraged closed minds and absolute disobedience to state authority. In 1774 Madison took a seat on the local Committee of Safety, a pro-revolutionary group that supervised local militias. In October 1775, he was appointed colonel in the Orange County Militia and served as his father's second-in-command until he was elected as a delegate to the Fifth Virginia Convention, which was charged with producing the first state constitution. Virginia Madison never attended battle in the Revolutionary War, often due to his short stature and poor health, but he rose to prominence in Virginia politics as a wartime leader. He convinced delegates to the Virginia Constitutional Convention to change the Virginia Declaration of Rights to provide equal rights, rather than merely toleration of the practice of religion. After the enactment of the Virginia Constitution, Madison became part of the Virginia House of Delegates and was later elected to the Virginia State Assembly. He then became a close ally of Governor Thomas Jefferson. Madison served in the State Assembly from 1777 until 1779 when he was elected to the Second Continental Congress, representing the governing body of the United States. The country faced a difficult war against Great Britain, as well as hyperinflation, economic problems, and lack of cooperation between various parts of the government. This is what led Madison to make himself a workhorse, as he became an expert in financial issues, a legislative expert, and head of the parliamentary coalition building. Frustrated by the state's failure to provide the required demands, he proposed amending the Articles of Confederation to give Congress the power to independently raise revenues through tariffs on foreign imports. Although General George Washington, Congressman Alexander Hamilton, and other influential leaders also supported the amendment, it lost. The opportunity is because he failed to take the votes of all 13 states. During his time as a congressman, Madison was a strong supporter of a close alliance between the United States and France. As a motive for westward expansion, Madison insisted in the Treaty of Paris, which later ended the revolution, 
that the new nation must guarantee its right to sail up the Mississippi River and control all lands east of it. After serving in Congress from 1780 to 1783, Madison won election to the Virginia House of Representatives in 1784. He died on June 28, 1836. I thank you very much for your kind listening. If you like the content, please interact, like, subscribe and share. Note, all sources can be found below the video. Goodbye and see you soon.